good. That looks good. Okay, yeah, it did. It was leaving a, a line at the top and the bottom, so I. Oh. At three quarter pressure, so I just cranked it up to. Yeah. Pretty much the max. So. Low pressure. Yeah, that's max. Okay, we're ready. You ready? Okay, I'll go get dressed. This is Isaac <clears throat> oiling up so that the paint doesn't stick to him. <laughs> I did it too. But I do it all summer. Mm hmm. <laughs> we'll oil up for the summer anyway. <laughs> I do. Makes my skin nice and soft. It does. But this is going to keep the paint from sticking. <laughs> okay. I'm so nervous. Here we go. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> you got it. You're a pro. I, I, I don't know. Ah. You're so good with this last night. I don't know. You got it. Okay. Okay. Are we ready to rock and roll here? Ready to test it? Oh, I sure would. Okay, well, I'm going to take that. <laughs> I have the trimmer lock on. You have it on? Mm -hmm. Start on cardboard. Huh? That's why you start on cardboard, <laughs> not on your butts. Yeah, that's a good idea. Thank um.
Okay. What is that? Explain. <laughs> uh, yesterday I accidentally uh, flushed a filter screen from our sprayer down the toilet. <laughs> and because uh, I was dumping a bucket of paint water in there and I didn't, I forgot that I'd taken the screen off the sprayer and dropped it in the bucket. And I saw it go in. And did the toilet? Yeah. But as far as I could figure, it had just gone all the way through. And then I woke you up this morning. Mm -hmm. But here it is. <laughs> there, let me see it. Yeah. Awesome. We have to go town to buy a new one. <laughs> it fit all, easily all the way through, but it landed right here at this 90 degree turn. And it just sat there. <laughs> Until I helped it the rest of the way up. Because you thought yesterday after you realized and figured out what it was that went down there, you thought it was going to be fine and that it was just going to pass right through. Yeah. Yeah, I, for some reason, I, I thought that this was the only bend it had to go through was right here. And I, and I felt like this and I could tell it wasn't sitting right in there. Yeah. But I didn't, I guess I just didn't look close enough and didn't realize that there was a 90 right there. Oh, so it was sitting right there. Yeah. I woke you up early this morning because we had problems. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. At least you don't have to buy one. Hey. Okay. <laughs> uh, we can keep painting. Yeah. Thank you. Touching up. Just a little. Yeah, these were hard to get. Mm -hmm. hitting the places I didn't get. Thank you. How's it going? Good. I was doing a second coat on the rims. Looks nice. Yeah. So we just wanted to fill you in on what happened with the the actual the white paint yesterday. Yeah, it's done, but it was kind of exciting, stressful. It was very stressful. That was like worse than putting on the primer. Um, I wasn't very happy when we were all done because um, I, it was just yeah, you it, did. It was harder. You did really good with the primer and got in the groove and. Yeah, but it kind of flowed. But this was different. This this paint actually uh, splattered. Uh, so this side of the bus isn't as good as the other side of the bus, as clean, no. because I got my groove by the other side. I figured it out, and it was basically like I have to start outside in the air, come in, and just don't stop, and then end on out in the air because it's because it's splattering. Yeah, it splattered on. The, when I pressed it and when I released it, it splattered. Yeah, into it's the tricky. Paint. This paint is so different yeah. from the primer. Yeah, it's <laughs> not very forgiving. It looks very challenging. Yeah. <laughs> For amateurs, <Exactly. laughs> it's like maybe we should have gone with the 
paint that wasn't quite so intense. Yeah. Um, yeah. I think, I don't know, we'll see how it goes in the end. Maybe we will oh, yeah, so they regret it. Sold us on it because it's super durable, but we didn't think to I didn't even ask how think. difficult it is to work with. Right, and in the end, it got done and it yep. looks it looks okay yeah it's white now if you get close to where i sprayed white you know where we painted white yesterday you can see some splatters um but you would only know that if you were up close and really super picky like we are so <laughs> right but um the other side worked really it worked really well to just hold that sprayer and just let it like you know, and just go until, you know, I was done, let it out in the air, and then come back with it. I was dreaming about putting the sage on, the color, and I think that I've decided that's what I'm going to do, is just rock it like I did the white. So it was really good to have the practice on the white. True. You know, so we were talking um, yeah, good point. about perhaps changing the tip of the sprayer, um, perhaps watering the paint down and all that other stuff and i was like i've already practiced mm -hmm. with it as it is with the sprayer we've got with the tip we've got with the paint and the thickness of it so i just want to rock and roll that way but yeah nick did say that the sage the color would be thinner yeah because it's, anyway. it's a clear base right that's tinted the sage color versus a white base that we sprayed on. Mm. Anyway, we screen, screen print, and when you put a uh, white on, man, it's so thick, and it's really, yeah. it's a tough color to work with. Any of the other colors, uh, black, it's really easy, just really easy, but, uh, yeah. so hopefully, nope. hopefully when we put the sage on, it will be um, better, but I just wanted to, like, yeah. clarify what actually happened yesterday, because we didn't get a lot of video, and you didn't hear us, you know, fighting and arguing. We had a a knockdown, drag out time <laughs> during that time because it was it was so hot and we're amateurs. We don't know what just we're doing. Intense. Yeah, so we're just trying not to mess it up so bad. <laughs> we're trying we're trying to like just make it um, into a nice, beautiful bakery and trying to get the paint on so you have, you know. The weather conditions that you strive with you've got the fact that we really don't know what we're doing i mean we've never painted an automobile automobile before right a vehicle before so it just feels like everything we're doing we're learning <laughs> so whoop. oh sorry that was a buzz i said it your way <laughs> you did <laughs> all right so we'll see you in the next uh, video where we will be painting the sage color on and hopefully that will just go good um that's our little dog on the other side um but little bear shut up anyway we <laughs> come here mom's coming don't worry yeah the other style the uh, hvlp um with the little canister on it because we're doing a low volume uh, in, in black for the uh, just the bumpers, right? Yeah, yeah. So a new friend actually gave us a pan sprayer, so we're gonna do the the bumpers in black next week after we get this done. So anyway, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for caring about our little project. It's if any of you have ever. Uh, done a project and filmed it for YouTube, you know that it's like a trick to do both. So um, I just uh, want you to know that we're filming so that we can um, show you this beautiful process of turning our little bus into a bakery for our daughter. So again, thank you for subscribing. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. Click the bell so you know when we uh, have a new video that comes up. And then also please go to our GoFundMe campaign and look at um, why we're doing this. We're doing this for our special needs daughter and I uh, need your help to actually continue on uh, getting the equipment we need to actually turn this into a full-fledged commercial kitchen bakery on wheels. So thanks for being here with us. Bye.